All right, the final thing that we're going to look at here is um, another uh, option for the person with the ball, which is, you know, we saw that he could pass the ball here and then he could set a screen allowing this player to get around and be free uh, and make it to the basket. Um, but we're, we're actually going to we're going to do something a little different here instead of uh, player one coming and setting the screen for player three who, who has the ball. We're actually going to do this. We're going to say player one is going to pass the ball to player three. And now he's going to run and he's going to set a screen for the person without the ball. And so what happens here is player one setting the screen so that player two can get free. Now player two is, is using that, that block to run around and get free. So now his defender is not no longer on him. He doesn't have the ball yet. So what he's going to do, he's going to run towards the basket and player three is going to pass him the ball. So this is this is kind of a combination of the cut and the screen combined. So let's let's watch this in motion here. So player one is going to pass the ball. He's going to run over to player two's defender. Player two is going to get free and get the pass back from player three. If it doesn't work, he passes it out and he resets. That's the important part is we're always resetting. All right, so let's let's watch this one more time, and we'll see um, this motion. So player one passes the ball. He runs to the, the person without the ball, um, his defender. That person gets free and makes a cut. He can't make a basket. He just passes it out, and they all reset. Pass, uh, set the screen, get the pass, go to the basket. Didn't get it. Okay, let's reset. 